Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Eden Penales and today I am going to show you the fundamental process of etching a PCB using these basic steps. There are lots of ways on how you can transfer a PCB layout into the PCB. It includes toner transfer method and laminate method. In my case, I'm just going to do the method of drawing the PCB layout into the copper plate using permanent marker. Okay, start the etching of our PCB. Make sure to have a copy of our PCB layout that will fit into the size of our copper plate. Now, clean the copper plate neatly, which will make its surface rough enough to hold the circuit board design. Then, allow the plate to dry completely. And now, I am going to draw our PCB layout in our copper plate. The next step is to place our copper plate into the etching solution. Agitate the plate until the unwanted copper is dissolved around the design.
Now, remove the ink transferred to the circuit board design. Finally, we now have an edge circuit board ready. You just have to drill the hole using proper tools and you can now fit the components in and solder it. Now, let us talk about some of the PCB design issues which can negatively affect the functionality of the finished product. The first one is plating voids which are effectively gaps or holes in the plating of the circuit board that is usually a problem during the position process that prevents an electric current from passing through the hole. Second, insufficient copper to edge clearance. Since a copper is an incredibly conductive metal, which is an active component of PCB, it is also soft and vulnerable to corrosion. When a PCB is trimmed, the copper is now too close to the edge together with its coating, which can cause numerous problems in the functionality of the board. Chemical leakage It happens when many different chemicals are used during the manufacture of PCB. Over the time, the leakage of this chemical residue can corrode the metal component of the board and cause the board to short circuit. The next one is slivers. Slivers is a narrow wedges of copper or solder mass produced during the PCB manufacturing process and can cause serious problems during the fabrication of circuit boards. Missing solder mass between fans. The solder mask is the layer on top of the circuit board stopper to insulate the copper traces from accidental contact with other metals, solders or conductive bits, and also a barrier between the copper and the environment that prevents corrosion and protecting the circuit board handlers from electric fusion. Well pads are the portion of metal left exposed by the solder board which components are soldered to. Thus, missing solder mass between pads exposes more copper than is necessary and can result in solder bridges forming accidentally between pins during assembly, which can result to short and reduced corrosion protection. The next one is burned circuit boards. The high temperatures used during the circuit board manufacturing process can burn out components of the PCB, which traps heat and increases the risk overheated and burned out circuit boards. Burned circuit boards are particularly tricky to deal with because the heat inside the board is likely to destroy the faulty part along with many others making diagnosis impossible and also rendering the board permanently unusable. And lastly, age, which is a common cause of many circuit board failure that develop adverse effects such as leaking current, insulation breakdown, and decreased capacitance and resistance. And that's it guys, I already shown the fundamental PCB etching process using permanent marker and also the PCB design issues that can negatively affect 
the functionality of the finished product. Okay guys, thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful in your PCB, please click the like button and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can watch my next uploads.